It's your buddy Karnak with Star Wars Armada Explained. Today I had another community request for a uh, for a card that doesn't really need any explanation, but again, the community asked for it. Got to give the community what it wants. Today we're going to look at the Imperial Officer Director Isgard or Izard, Izard. There we go. Uh, how can you tell she fits into an officer slot? You look in the bottom left-hand corner. You will see the officer upgrade symbol there. She is Imperial only, which if you look next to her point cost, which is three, you'll see the Imperial faction icon. Uh, also next to her name and her title, you'll see a bullet point that designates that she is unique, meaning you can only bring one of her, uh, you only bring one of that card, which in this case is just her, uh, in your fleet. And so her card reads, when you reveal a command, you may look at all command dials assigned to one enemy ship. Uh, and so how does her ability trigger? And by the way, she doesn't have any clarifications or error to us. She's, she's pretty straightforward. It's not game breaking. Um, so as soon as you, for example, she's equipped as an officer on this Gazanti, as soon as you reveal your dial, which by the way, her action is when you reveal, meaning you don't have to decide yet if you're going to spend the dial, uh, or use the command as a dial or immediately turn it into a token. You can wait for that decision after you look at the command dials at the enemy ship. Because again, that the trigger is when you reveal a command. So you reveal the command, you say, mm, I want to look at that enemy ship and see what they got going on. So in real life, your opponent essentially just would turn over his command stacks you know, in order uh, to make sure you could see what the commands are for that ship. Uh, otherwise, for a program like Vassal, you know, somebody would need to to flip over you know all their dials in this case we're just going to use the reveal command here it's going to tint that red because it's it's mine but you know they, you'll figure it out so this enemy ship for example has set a navigation command on turn one and squadron commands on turn two and three um so what i mean that's and that's pretty much the how the card works so because the, that video is essentially so short i'm going to give a little caveats about why she would be useful. I usually, again, don't go over about the usefulness of cards unless there's something about interactions. But in this situation, um, for the most part, people don't bring her because for the most part, as soon as you get more and more experience in this game, you can learn to anticipate better what your opponents are going to set, except for that turn one interaction. She can be beneficial, for example, if you're a squadron-heavy carrier group um, and you need to know if your opponent's carrier is set up to take a navigation turn one or if it has a squadron command turn one. Why is this beneficial? Well, if you look at the enemy carrier and you see it doesn't have a squadron command queued up where it otherwise would throw maybe four or five squadrons, or maybe it's a title like Yavaris where if they don't have that squadron command, you know, a lot of people then like to just engage as quickly as they can with their squadron ball, if it's a fast squadron ball, you know, speed four, speed five fighters, that way they know they can strike on the very first turn and the enemy carrier can't effectively respond back to it. Otherwise, for the most part, you know, her, her ability is, is questionable otherwise. But that is kind of some interesting, unique aspects of, you know, it can be useful to helping you determine if you should immediately engage if your squadrons or not, if you know the enemy carrier is not going to be able to respond in kind. Um, but that is Director Izzard, and uh, if, you can, if I got anything in error or anything wrong, please be sure to let me know. Otherwise, thanks for watching.